Hello guys, so uh, well this is a short video and I just want to talk about something I did which was really stupid um, two days ago. So it's been three weeks into college and uh, I mean grad school. I have received the uh, most orders I I had um, but I still have uh, some other models i think three of them on the way so perhaps by the end of next week i'm gonna receive every eight of them in total uh well today i'm actually gonna talk about this porsche 911 gt2 rs i received two days ago right after i received it i realized that i'm gonna take it out Well, this is, in general, this is a great model. I'm not gonna show you the back because I'm gonna talk about it later. So this is a great, great model. Everything looks so fine. The yellow bronze, bronze wheels. Yeah, it just looks stunning with the red body and the black elements, the carbon fiber elements. So uh, I just received this two days ago. It's made this made by Minichamps. It cost me about 150 bucks plus the shipping and tax. <clears throat> well, I realized this side, this uh, re review mirror fell off uh, when I opened the box. But uh, you know, it, I plugged it in and uh, applied some super glue on it. Well, but I twisted a little bit so it doesn't look right, and I used brutal force to 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 tear it off again, and then applied some super glue. So this whole thing looks really it sounds really stupid, which I assume I'm not going to do ever again in the future. But well, this is just the beginning, because when I was applying the uh super cool i had some on my uh thumb on my left hand left hand and then i accidentally accidentally touched this side of the car i don't know if you can see it with some with my left thumb yeah i think you can see it there's a little bit stain over there, just right here, and uh, yeah, I got some glue stain on it. So I checked on Google how sh how can I remove the uh, glue stain, and Google told me use uh, the nail remover, the Ace Tone. Well, I, I think by now you can see that this back of the car, the paint is pretty messed up. It's it actually happened because uh, when I applied the Ace Tone, I didn't know the Ace Tone could react with the paint. Well, that's really stupid. That's the main idea of this whole story. So I just got everything messed up. The liquid went inside this light and uh, it took away some of the red paint. It took away some of the black paint here. It took away some of the red paint in here and here. Yeah, which is really bad. So I'm still still thinking. I don't know. Well, you can actually see there are still some uh, glue stain on it. You can see it with the light and some re reflection that just doesn't look right. Yes, some right here, under this, this part. So, uh, so, uh, more of the story, don't apply Ace Tone if you are not familiar with it. Just apply it with, I don't know, cotton or something that you can easily manipulate. Don't let it 
you know, flow to any other parts on the car. I don't know really, I really don't know what to do with it right now. I don't know how much I could sell this for. I assume nobody's gonna want this. So I'm just gonna keep it. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna buy another one because I'm low on budget right now. But more of the story, don't apply Ace Tone. Okay. That's it. So I'm gonna do uh, some uh, showcase maybe um, other models when I receive the rest of them. Maybe later. Yeah, this collection is getting bigger. But it's just such a shame that, you know, because of my stupidity, I had to, had to uh, tolerate this kind of disappointment. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know if anybody gonna see this, but if you see this video, if you watch this video, I hope that you can be extra careful and cautious when you are trying to do anything with these beautiful models. Yeah, that's it. See you.